Welcome to the last day, the last part of the 60 hours in 5 days, 12 hours remaining. I'm gonna do 50 minute sessions and 10 minute breaks. Pomodoro method, I'm gonna have two large breaks as usual, one hour, one and a half hour after every four hour. And then uh, that's it, I'm done. I'm gonna do in the first part the data warehouse toolkit. I decided not to do dashboards the whole day because I want to have some knowledge stuff too. Then I will do that for four hours and then I will do dashboards for the remaining eight hours. Okay, let's start. Okay, the first session is over. I'm in the first part with four sessions. This was very cool. So I kind of had like a brain fog at the beginning and uh, I didn't feel like I can think clearly. But at the same time, I had uh, pretty cool insights. And then in the breaks, I did some exercises and drank water and that pretty much cleared up my brain fog. Maybe it's a coincidence, I don't know. But I got very excited and had a lot of new thoughts. I was, I kept noting them down the whole time. So I got a bit distracted from the work, but that's okay because it was worth it. I'm gonna do a break now. I'm done with the data warehouse toolkit part. I was thinking about doing it for another hour in the next part but no, it's okay for today. I will keep continuing with the dashboards, visualizations. I said I'm not gonna do anything on the deep work dashboard that I can't resist. <laughs> I will spend the first hour doing that, but if I can't finish what I wanted, then that's it. Okay, this is the break. One and a half hours, I think. I will take a coffee and pill, then do some apps exercises. It's also tempting to go out because the weather is very nice, it would be nice to run. But I think I will do that in the next break or just I will walk in the next break, next big break. So I will do that, I will take a shower, I will 
cook and eat something and chill a little bit and then continue with the next part. So this is the second big break and I'm still doing the deep work dashboard <laughs> but I'm really done with it so uh, it's not finished but I'm not gonna do continue it in the next uh, part but yeah uh, almost there four more hours left I feel better than yesterday I keep so I'm much more disciplined considering the breaks and how I spend the breaks. Avoiding internet surfing and really the breaks are very important even if you don't feel like doing it. The effect of doing the break now comes in 4-5 or five hours maybe because then you will be less tired. So this is one lesson I learned. Okay, I will take a break. One hour, maybe a bit longer, and uh, I will eat something and I will chill a bit, and then I will start the new dashboard in the last four hours and also kind of wrap the whole thing up with um, a little bit reflecting on it. We'll see. Okay, see you after the break.
so this is it. The five days are over, the 60 hours are over, the week is over. And it was a very challenging thing to do. So I'm glad that I did this. This was the one point. In the last four hours, I didn't do that much directly Power BI related stuff, but it's fine. I started to work in this dieting dashboard and I need to do a lot of research. That's, so that's what I mostly did. Yeah, overall, I didn't feel in the specific days that I have done that much. So I planned very much things to do, but I'm still very satisfied how much I did. I learned a lot of new things and figured out also indirectly many things which work for me, mostly like productivity related. Power BI related, but also productivity related, how to manage my days and my time to be able to work efficiently. So it was very nice, very insightful. I had a lot of ups and downs. I think the worst day was yesterday altogether. This last part was also pretty hard now. This last four hours, I really didn't feel doing it. But of course, I'm <laughs> not gonna stop at the finish line. And I'm very tired, so it's even hard to talk right now. If you want to do something like that, I definitely recommend it because it opens up so many things and you also kind of learn your limits a little bit. So for me, I would say the sweet spot was after three hours, three hours, three days. So that's where I would say that's very efficient and that's very nice to do and you don't have to give up too much of your life. But after the third day, I started to have diminishing returns. I could have done more maybe in less time if I take more rest and take my mind away of this whole stuff. And yes, this week I was on holidays, so if you are working full time, you can obviously cannot do it, but you can do part of this thing. And I think in the future I will do at least once, or maybe twice, a 12 hour session study day in a month. And in the remaining time I will do, of course, shorter periods. Okay, I want to sleep, I have to work tomorrow. So, see you next time.